Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? So on my channel, one of the most viewed videos is a video of me explaining how I trim my beard where I get the side short and the bottoms, bottom long. And it's this little trick I've learned a long time ago and it's me explaining it. Also, one of the videos I get the most questions on is that video because I guess I didn't explain in great detail how to do it. So this is me explaining in detail how to do that how you can do it, it's not that hard, it's actually pretty easy. I'm gonna walk you through the steps. So first things first, whenever you trim your beard, before you do it, you're gonna to wanna to wash it out. And we're gonna to go to the bathroom and we're gonna do that. Okay, so now we're in the bathroom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wash our beard out. We're not gonna use beard wash. I'm not gonna use beard wash, I'm just doing a, a co-wash. And I'm gonna use uh, the Boss Man. They're the guys that make uh, the beard jelly, um, but they also make a really good conditioner. So I'm gonna wash my beard out with this conditioner real quick. Put some water in my beard. Okay, now, as far as washing, this is something you should do before every trim. Um, you should always wash your beard because um, it gets it back closer to its natural state. That's what you want. You want your beard, you want your beard to be like in its natural, as close to its natural state as possible because otherwise you're not gonna have an accurate picture of what your beard's gonna look like. Um, so you don't want products in it, you don't want anything in it. Just product free, conditioner wash it or beard wash, whatever you want to do. I'm gonna rinse my beard out now. Now let's try it. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use a blow dryer on low. Just kind of brush it out. We now have a pretty accurate representation of what the beard's gonna be like um, without trimming it. So, I'm gonna grab our trimmers. You guys already know I love these, the Brio Beardscape. These are the best trimmers you can use for your beard, hands down, bar none. And I'll put a link in the description below for these. I'll put a link in the description below for this conditioner if you guys are wanting to try this stuff out. Okay, now, the goal is you're gonna take your trimmer and you're gonna go down with it like this in a downward motion. So, there's no curving, there's nothing like that. It's just imagine there's like a straight edge, you're going straight down like that. No curving inwards, no going outward, no nothing like that. It's just a straight down movement and you're gonna need a guard. So if you can tell, I told my barber uh, drama when he cut my hair, I told him to specifically just cut this and don't fade it into this. So you guys can see like a hard line from like the trim to the beard length and it's uneven. And so kind of the point of this is to even that out to make your hair and your beard match. And then also, um, <clears throat> I'm a little bit on the chubby side. So trimming this, the sides down like this and keeping them narrow and the bottom long makes me look less fat. And that's always a plus. Okay, now usually when you buy the beer, the Brios, uh, the new ones come with three guards. This comes with two, but two equals four because there's there's a 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, nine millimeter, um, six millimeter, and three millimeter. Now what you want to do is you're going to take your trimmers, put your guard on the start with the biggest guard here, the 12 millimeter. Let's throw it on there, just like that. Now, we're gonna turn them on and just go like this. You see it's like cutting nothing. So we know we're gonna take it down one step. Let's switch it around, flip it around to the, uh, to the nine millimeter, like that. Let's do the same thing. Nothing. Okay, so that should be your second yeah. So that should be your second clue. So let's go to the six millimeter. Now I think we might cut a little bit of hair with this one, let's see. Yep, got a little bit there, but not enough. You could always start with the bigger guard, like if, if there's just a, getting a little bit cut off, you could start with the six millimeter, like I would start possibly. We'll, we'll just do it for this video, just for video's sake. We're gonna start with the, um, the six millimeter side. I'm gonna throw it on there, and we're gonna go down with it and see what happens. See, it's taken a little bit off, but not enough. Now, this could all depend on your beard size and what you want. So I'm gonna switch to the three millimeter. Also, I have the guard set all the way up to the top, just so you guys know. There's the options right there. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put it on the three millimeter. And when we have it on this, you should see it here's some substantial hair trimming. Hear that? That's a lot coming off. That's what we want. <coughs> now, if you can see already, it's starting to blend into my uh, 
my beard. The, the side of my head is already starting to blend into my sideburn here. And that's what we want. And we wanna make that one continuous sweep down the face. Okay, we're gonna zoom in a little bit here. We've got some light on the beard on this side in now. So we're gonna take our, our trimmers at the three millimeter. We're gonna take them. Now I'm gonna be looking in the mirror as I do this, but you're gonna see the side of my face as I do this. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Just like that. See, I'm going straight down with it, like that. And you wanna go all the way to the front, all around, just straight motions. Now, it might take you like 30 swipes down, but don't rush it. You can always cut more off, you can't always put it back on. I'm gonna keep going here. Gotta get a straight on view like that. Okay, let's look at my face. Look at this side, and now look at this side. Can you see a difference? I can. This side is nice and sleek and straight and it gets the hair nice and close to the face. Gives you less of a fat appearance, like, like that, like that, versus that. It's better, obviously. So, now once you finish the first set of swipes, comb your beard out like this to kind of just reset it and make sure you're at, you got an accurate picture of what's going on. So comb your beard like you would normally comb your beard. I'm using a Kent comb if you guys are wondering. I love these, Kent combs are the best. I'll link those in the description below too if you guys wanna check those out. And that's about perfect right there. Now me personally, what I do to make it just a little bit more crisp is I'm gonna take this guard all the way off like that. And then I'm gonna take these. Now you don't have to do this. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do it. It takes a little bit of skill to do this, not a lot, but a little bit. And I'm just gonna bare clipper it down just to get those scragglers off, off the edge of there. If you can see like a little bit of like a few little scragglers there. Turn them on. And we're just gonna go down with this. Just gotta be super careful here. And it's all about just being confident and having a steady hand when it comes to this part. You don't have to do this, but you can. This is how you can really, really shape your beard with this right here. Okay. Okay, now this right here is pretty much a finished product. If you can see, this side's kind of bulging out. This side is nice and trim and good looking. It's great, it's amazing. Um, I'm gonna comb it through with my Kent comb one more time. I'm not gonna do the other side on video because it's the same exact process for that side. Um, but if you look at this side, you can see just how good it looks compared to this side. Okay, so I hope I've covered everything in this video. If not, Put a comment down below. I'll try and get in there and respond to everybody as I can. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to cut this video off and I'm going to trim this side of my beard. And then I'm going to, um, I'm not doing anything crazy today, so I'm just going to throw some uh, beard jelly in there. Um, I'll put a link down this, in the description for that as well. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And then hit the subscribe button if you've never been to my channel before. If this is your first time, there's a whole bunch of beard tips and tricks I do on this channel, reviews and everything. I've got a bunch of awesome content in the past and a bunch of awesome content coming in the future. So hit that subscribe button. And again, I will put links in the description below for the beard jelly I'm about to use, for the uh, conditioner I used, for the Kent comb, and as well for the Brio Beardscapes. These are the best trimmers in the game, guys. You should definitely, if you can afford, these are like 68 bucks or something like that. If you can afford this, get this trimmer. They're amazing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Later.